Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Do. Today I have with me Pika Shades. Still in my old place. Yep. As we are continuing off of the deaths of Superman with World Without a Superman, aka Funeral for a Friend. As we find out what happened immediately after. This is the meat and potatoes of the story. This mm. is where they realize uh, after the death, this is the story they really want to tell. And this, for me, is the best part of the trilogy. Mm. And this is also has it in the issues that got me into comics. Was this particular story. So this has a special place in my heart. Okay. Yep. As yeah, right. It is immediately after. This is the very next issue on the during the Triangle Number era. Hmm. S yeah. Sadly, there, there's a little more to be done for Superman, but my compatriot Ice may still live. Yeah, and remember, Ice was just standing. Now she just passed out from the pain. Like, <sighs> yeah. Kind of a little silly, but um L lois we're not going to take this bloodwin guy's word for it that super is dead are we uh, the kid's right Ma maggie i would never even heard of him before all this he's alive turpin he's gotta be it saddens me but i must concur with bloodwin i've been scanning superman's mind and there's nothing there no brainwave activity nothing Oh, man, if Superman's really dead, we better pray to God he put this doomsday thing down for keeps. I'll poke it with my gun. You guys cover me. Doesn't look like it's breathing, but hey, maybe it never needed to. Stand back. Did it move? Uh, Maggie Sawyer, order your special crimes unit to back away from the doomsday creature. The creature doomsday. It moves. Put a lid on it. And ch Camp Champley, this crowd doesn't need any more excitement. Uh, uh, and now, what do you pro do you propose, Mister? You don't remember me? Well, I am Duplex, and yeah, Duplex. And among my psychokinetic abilities is the power to read minds. Well, before it was filled with rage, anger. Now there is nothing. Let me go! Why are you all just standing there? You got to do something to bring Superman back. Lois, even D uh, and, D and Double X it says he's dead. Superman's an alien for crying out loud. We know his body differs from ours. I was like, he also hasn't exhibited any signs of life since he collapsed. As, as harsh as it sounds, we've got to face facts, Lois. Cats, the cat's right. We can't do anything. Maybe Star Labs has medical equipment in. Damn it, somebody's got to do something. I and mean, we owe the man more than this. She's got a point. We're all standing around planning. We're all standing around planning his funeral. Captain Sawyer, get a few medics over here to help. His lungs are like steel tanks. All I can, uh, all I've got, got doesn't even get a rise out of his chest. Uh, here comes the EMS and guys, Lois. Uh, anything? Uh. He's not breathing. But beyond that, it's hard to tell. Being invulnerable is going to make inje injection or an IV impossible. See, this is the point where his skin is, all, even though he's dead, his skin's already um, repairing itself and toughening it up. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's... Yep. Because the outer shell is 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 recovering, but the insides, the, yeah, the internal the damage. Insides. Uh. Now, of course, uh, Turner makes his way over and he finds, um, he finds Matrix. Hmm. Am I... First, he thinks it was someone who got killed who got burnt to a crust, but like, am I near him? You Superman? Mercy, uh, your mother of mercy is alive! Whoop! Like, uh, ah, uh, you big lummox. You're acting, uh, you're, you're acting, acting like a blam rookie. I'll take care of her, Officer Turpin. Well, I'll be, and be, and well, I'll be. Here I am making a monkey out of myself in front of young, young Lex Luthor himself. You want me to get a medic? They wouldn't know where to begin as my Supergirl mate. A uh, mate? Uh, uh, mate, uh, I will make it better, my love. I crawled here to try and help Superman, but it hurts so much. Shh, no one can help him now, but we can help you. We've got to get voltages to the highest level. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do, and I love it. We keep, we keep the deep, this deep fibs up. We're going to melt the paddles. Then melt the blasted paddles, but keep at it. Okay, chill out. I was only joking. 
Mm. Oh, jeez. Even yeah, it's always pointing out. Superman never went to a physician except for um, uh, Star Labs, of course. Again, just uh, Lois did this finally registering there. Everything throughout the death, she kept thinking up until the final moments, he'll be fine. He'll be all right. He'll make it. Hmm. Now, I love this from Cat. Now, again, this is pre losing her son, Cat. Yeah. Like, yeah, still looks like a. Well, yeah, but not natural that, but that, human, but, natural human being, and not not a fixed I, up human. But, but again, I blame her time in LA. But this mm. moment, I love it. Lois, look, this is going to seem rough, but you've got to snap out of this daze you're in. You're a reporter, a darn good one. The story needs to be told by you. Now we've all got our jobs. I love that. Mm. Seriously, this was like remember I told you before. Each book was sliced up. Uh, split up. This was the one focusing on all the characters around Superman, and it shows Jerry Ordway knew them. He understood oh. everyone. All of their reactions make the most sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, Kat, she's not being a bitch. She's being the hard, you know, voice that needs to be spoken. Yeah. Is that a good way of putting it? Yeah, it is. She's the, the friend that's telling you, um, uh, come on, snap out of it. Of course, now um, Jimmy's realizing he has all these photos. He doesn't know how good they are, how bad they are. And they're going to be some of the best photos of his career, but he doesn't mm. care. Mm. Oh, there's Kat's son as she's talking the news. Now that's um, um, Jose, Jose Delgado, gangbuster. Uh. Like, dear Lord in heaven. Adam, your mom just said Superman was dead. Yeah, big deal. Most of us kids at school thought he was a big weenie anyway. Hey, I love this cartoon. Darn it, Adam. What's wrong with you? A man may be dead, and all you can think about is your own pleasure. <sighs> Superman was a friend to us all. I didn't mean nothing, Jose. Ow! You big jerk. Adam, wait. I, I didn't mean to snap, but uh, you're not my father. Just one of my mom's boyfriends. What of? Ah, oh, Delgado, the kid didn't uh -huh. mean Kat's got more than one boyfriend. She's not like that anymore. But And that news about Soup's blind, it's blind side of me. So, yeah, now he's considering uh, putting on the outfit, but then you have one guy. So, I guess the man wasn't so super after all. Why, you uh -huh. happy-talking son of a... Oh, Let's be uh -huh. honest, there would be an asshole like that. No matter how good Superman has done, there would be a guy saying, Well, oh, I guess he wasn't so super after all, huh? Mm. Yeah, people like that are what Mark Wayne pretty much to have brought up in Irredeemable. Yep. Oh, just look at this moment. Yes, outliving your own your, your child is at their age, especially. Mm. We keep on praying for to to the good Lord for our boy Ma. Now, of course, Lex keeps on insisting the Matrix to turn back, even saying it's painful, but. I don't think he doesn't care. He just wants to see her looking like that beautiful royal girl. But yeah, it's all mm. these bru and bruises to which she said she'll keep them going a little while longer as tribute for his sacrifice. Oh. Oh, geez. They're using hollow pads, and even then, it's still heavy to lift Doomsday. Obviously. If you're not, then it would be like a construction crane. Yep. And I believe that's um, Hannigan from, uh, or Hardigan, one of the two names from Cadmus. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, then, um, they're true. He's still arguing, like, well, I, and I hesitate to call a, a cigar smoking chick a lady. Give me your badge number. That tears it. Turpin, no, he's the head of Cadmus, like I care. And forget the badge number. Just remember Dan Turpin. T-U-R-P-I-N. The boys call me terrible, though I don't know why. I love Turpin. Yeah. But then Bibbo and Emile to show up with this device. Basically, it's to help charge up the defibrillator. Uh. So they charge it up and... Damn! And of course, even cats like two-man's body jumped. Anybody, anything would jump was that. 
but still uh. nothing. So they try it again and nothing. Oh, but then of course, even Perry is like, like we lost a, fr a friend, Mr. White, a good friend. That we did, Jimmy. We owe it to him to honor his memory, son. Again, Jimmy's, they got the photos, the belt now. And now, again, he's realizing how good they are, but it's making it worse. And I love that. Mm. Uh, Olsen, one of these photos will serve to remind us this city, no, the world, of the tremendous sacrifice one man made. His passing has left a great void in all of us, but we're still journalists, and we got a paper to publish. Think of what Lois is going through. Oh, boy, and again, um, and this is around the time of Joe Schuster's death. Oh, that is that yeah fueling it again just look at and yeah they're even saying clark is among the hundreds missing oh that's how they explain it well it will make i have that but... issue by the way where they that's that's said after the whole raid, oh, yes, 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 yes. That, where they always, find clark that was always in the trade that was always in the trade where matrix took over and in other versions they replaced it was martian manhunter either one worked yeah I have a, a I I have the actual issue backed in somewhere. I I'm, I'm not gonna go aside alone already in my boxes to get it done because it was already a damn struggle to find which box I had to put this in to get the right. images for the video crisis video. Yep, but yeah, Superman has now been declared officially dead. Oh. I'm guessing Jimmy took this one while he was still on autopilot after the death. Because I don't think oh. he would have knowingly taken this. Yeah, if it's, would you agree with that? That would be yeah, if it's, it's, it's his instincts to do the photojournalism and and and, and be on an auto, be on autopilot. He would have likely. Hmm, hmm. Because, because, yeah, uh, this this it's an incredible photo, but Jimmy would never willingly have taken it on his uh, own consciously. Hmm. He was probably in such the days he was just like. Hmm. And just got to put some of the best shots of his career. Oh. But the human factor is turned off, and it's just the instinct that it's... Yep, and Lois wrote it. Superman, our world's greatest hero, was declared dead this afternoon. He died of injury sustained in the defense of protecting, of protecting her people. Oh, boy. Of course. Oh, Westfield was his name. Westfield. And yeah, once again... He wants Superman's body for for obvious reasons. Basically, mm. it was always been established that if any alien bodies would be, you know, any bodies um would be there, he would he he could lay like, claim them, including Superman's. Of mm. course, the SEU are now standing off against Cadmus. Good. Again, I miss writing like this. You know, having these factions like this. Mm. Now remember, also just to make it clear, it's been known by this point that uh, Maggie is gay. But notice they don't bring it up that much, except for when Westfield's calling her a cigar chump, and you know, check mm. barely a lady. Yeah, it's kind of going to be all that. Yep, it's probably a good thing that they have a, had a writing writing team between all, all the. All the issues that they that they had at the time to to, to keep the other. Yeah, Carlin check was great. Issues. Yeah, Carlin was great at that. Hmm. There's a reason why I love the triangle number so much. But yeah, they're just trying to figure out what to do. There's a news media blackout. Supergirl's still hmm. depressed. Um, again, building up more and more for this fight going on when Supergirl heads on over to stop what's going on. And if it says. Don't trust them. Don't trust them, little lady. They want to take Superman's body. They what? Hmm. <laughs> Basically, yeah, it's called a psychokinetic blast. And you're lucky that's all she did. And all she did was sweep you and your toy soldiers out the door. You can't. Oh, you can't. Yo. No, that, yeah. that, that, that's, that's what Connor is. One of Connor was to be able to do. But, but, well, he yeah. will eventually, but not here yet. No. Mm. I love it. You can't talk to me that way to me at me and me, Sawyer. Paul, don't press your luck. Even Lex is there to try and talk with Mr. with uh, Mayor Berkowitz to try and get things um settled out. Mm. Yep. Uh because of course 
he wants to make sure that he buries Superman, not have him dissected in a lab. Mm. Some respect for the deceased, even and from yes, the exactly, that's exactly morning. what they did. They come up here and says Superman's heritage may be alien, but as far as we're concerned, the president uh, agrees he's an American. Mm. And he intends to be given a good, a proper burial. And again, like I told you before, Roger Stern's the guy who mostly handled Lex. And it shows with just someone that's like, I'd say, and you put your foot in, 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 it, in it, mate. Oh, and don't try to go claiming that doomsday beastie. Star Labs will dispose of him. Now, as a patriotic citizen, I'm willing to overlook the damage to my property and to keep mention of your and your little project out of the news if you get in your trucks and return to your base now. Mm-hmm. Oh, you can so tell Lex loves this with being in this younger body that people trust. Because mm. again, he puts up a good act. Yeah. That's uh again, that's Lois is this is when the point where Lois is just self-destructing. Well, not self-destructing, but what's the right word? You know, just starting to um more everything's starting to overwhelm her. Mm. But she's trying. She is trying to power through it. She yeah. just lost the man she loved. Not Superman, but Clark. Yeah. It's uh, about losing is it Clark. said somewhere or here already that Clark is also missing somewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they're all labeling it. But you know what she said? His luck ran out when Superman died. Lois, don't talk like that. Hmm. But yeah, but they saying, Mr. Because she knows the truth. They don't. So that's why they're saying, no, it's okay. Mr. Ken will show up. Uh. Yeah. I, I, I hope Allie and Allie's right. Hey, man, to that, Olsen, but. You were there. Scores of buildings were toppled during Doomsday's attack. Most of the people still missing are probably trapped in the wreckage. Even if Clark is alive out there somewhere, he might not be by and be by the time the rescuers find him. If, and if there were ever a time we needed Superman in his X-ray vision, but he's gone, and I doubt we'll ever see another like him. And the fact that Supergirl's not a Kryptonian makes it even worse for you know, for everything. Because she has to put him on the same powers that. Connor in it when he debuts will have. Yeah. Which will be the tactical telekinesis of being able to lift something and fly, and that's pretty yeah. much and and and, stay, yeah. and be invulnerable. That's oh, imagine, pretty much it. No vision and no yeah. vision powers. Just imagine Lana now. Now she's calling saying they just heard about on the radio. Remember, she mm. knows. Yeah. So Another one of those things is... that John Byrne had also. Yeah, just imagine. You know, Pete doesn't know, but Pete's just like, he knows at least that Clark is missing. Mm. Like, Martha, she's holding, Martha, she's holding up as well as can be expected. Neither of us ever really expected we'd have to mourn a child. Guess we were fooling ourselves. There's mm. no one, and there's not a, a one of us who isn't immortal. Not even Superman. I expected this made, and this made just about everybody stop and sink a little. And sure enough, we're seeing the whole world reacting. Just look at all this. Like, uh, and this is just, yeah. Oh, Americans, Arab, yep. Arabians, Japanese, uh, uh, yep. uh, uh, Russians. Um, yeah, just all uh. of them reacting somberly. And mm. this is how the world would react, let's be honest. Mm. Uh, this is how they would react. Oh, I love this bit. Lex takes a chair and slams it. Miserable stinking, uh, miserable stinking. Take it easy, Luther. Smashing furniture over Mr. Ugly won't do it any, any good. Believe me, I know how you feel, but no, you do not know. Superman was mine to kill. Mine. I've been cheated of my vengeance. A monster has robbed that of me, of that which I desired more than anything. Again, the fact that this monster just came right out of nowhere, right the hell out of nowhere, and did what everyone else failed to do. Mm. That's something that I have also seen in some criticisms, uh, also complain about because because that Doomsday was some, some random creature just came up and did it instead of having it be some kind of personal the, the, some kind of personal villain or, or, or threat to 
to give a give Superman a fitting ending instead of I doing this as a as it went. But the same yeah. time, though, at the same time, it makes sense. Mm. Some, that sometimes that's something that he never experienced will be the thing to take him down. Mm. Oh, but again, poor yeah, Lois. That's, that's can't funny. believe I've lost him. Just this morning, Clark and I were having breakfast. Just last night. Maybe I shouldn't have come back to his apartment. But all I have of Clark's, all that's left and left and that left me is in here. This place is so tidy. Always was. I remember the first time I ever came here. We were just co-workers then. Yeah, when she walked in, started trying out his bum belt and all that. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that, yeah, that's the... I have I also uh, that. So I also have Burns, man, the Man of Steel, the yeah. graphic novel. I didn't think of Clark as much more than my biggest competition for the choice assignments. Oh, Jonathan, Martha, they must know. The whole world knows by now. By tomorrow, friends will be reassuring them that Clark will turn up, will turn up all right. It's just, it's, it just about killed me when Allie said that. I almost slipped, almost told her that Clark was mm. Superman. I can't let, and let that get out. He's had so many enemies. So Some of them wouldn't think twice about taking their revenge on his family. I, I was almost part of that family. I must call them. They love Clark so much. We all loved him so very much. I was going to take her a number of issues before she does it because she's blaming herself that all she did was report the news, that she can't bear to talk to them. Hmm. If this was written a decade or more uh, later, like, or like, uh, I, uh, like Dan Jurgen has, has done those anniversary stories. Like, oh, yeah, uh, like Day of Doom, did, which, 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 uh, which premiered um, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, but yeah, but if this story was written like, along with those or some kind of reframings, they, some modern stigmas would have made it, lo- made it give Lois some kind of more active activities. Mm, to get, no, I don't think Jurgen would have changed anything. Yeah, Jurgens probably wouldn't have, but it, but some other writer who wanted to do what their yeah, own. Yeah, to be it. fair, I don't think the immediate writers like Jeff Loeb and all that. I don't think they would. In fact, there's not that many writers I think who came afterwards who I think would have. Mm. Most of these writers respected um, what you know what the other writers were doing with Lois. Mm. Mm. I mean, I there might be yeah. one or two, but most would not, and I think that's something that. I hate to say, this is one thing I keep pushing on Jared. A lot of the post-crisis writers respected Lois and kept her in a, like this type of person. Mm. I cannot think of that many stories that were post-crisis where she became an other bitch. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Maybe Please. beforehand, if Byrne had wrote this, maybe, but none of the other writers, all of the mm. other writers, like from that, from this point, are still around. In fact, this would be Jerry Ordway, who's been around since the beginning of Post Crisis. His last hurrah. Hmm. Yeah, something about this. Now, if this was New Fifty Two, you would be absolutely right. Hmm. New Fifty Two, Lois. Hell no, she would not be like this. Hmm. If because she knew. knew. If yeah. she knew. Uh. If she knew, she probably would have spelt the beans. Yeah. That's why I never care for New Fifty Two, Lois. Mm. I, well, I love this was Toy was Man. Awesome. Yes, oh. he always showed concern for the children. Superman may have thwarted the Toy Man's revenge, but I take no joy in his passing. Whereas the parasite doesn't care, and then some of the others are like, I love this. It's true, I tell you. Can't be. Then, and then why the war and cut off TV privileges? Yeah, and order an early lockdown. Uh, uh, Louis got a radio stash. Hey, Louis. Shh. Yeah, it's true. Superman bought the farm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Super Perp is dead. Watch your mouth, man. Yeah. Superman saved my grandma's life once. Eh, who cares? Go to sleep. If only I could be out on the outside now. The Superman is gone. But I love that. Even some of the corrupt chiefs by the way are like, hey, yeah, Superman saved my grandma's life once. Hmm. Oh, boy. Of course, some guys are going to try and rob. Yeah. Of but, course, they were going to take advantage of the situation. And Supergirl saved, uh, stopped them. And, oh, of course, green car. Yeah, and they're holding it up. <laughs> yep. i like, how about lead, huh? You like hot lead? I can live with it. <laughs> mm. Oh, and Bibbo. 
Huh? It's that that's Supergirl. It ain't my favorite. It never be. It'll never be him. Mm. Never again. Mm. He's gone. When he when he we, we when he needed help most, there was nothing I could do. He's blaming himself for not being able to do anything with those, you know, paddles. You know, with the uh, defibrillator. Mm. Huh. Why'd I think I could do good do any good anyways? Professor Ham, he's the smart one. And even he couldn't do any good. I was just dumb muscle getting in the way. Of course, he's telling him it's closed down. Don't want to drink. Heck, you guys go home. Bar's closed for the evening. You don't want to. You sure, man? This is my bar. When I say it closes, it closes. Go home. Now, this is a moment that Louise Simonson, she didn't work on it. This is Roger Stern. But this is her favorite moment in this story. And it's mm. one of my favorite moments. Like, God. It's me, Bibbo. Been a while since we talk. I know my pal Superman's with you right now, so I guess you don't really need my prayers, but the rest of us sure do. Hail Mary, for grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our deaths. Amen. Take good care of Superman, okay, God? I miss him. I suspect most about that everybody misses him. God, I gotta ask you, why? Why should Superman die when a washed up old redneck like me goes on living? It ain't right, God. Mm. It just ain't right. Damn, this writing! Yeah, See, this writing is and uh, This is why it's my blaming. favorite. You know what I mean? Yeah, this right. is why. This is why I adore this story so much. Now we got the funeral. <laughs> I love how they're basically all these business people. Some people are doing his hair, but I love it. One of the people is trying to say, time capsule, capsule coffins are the best. Was that a thing? Time capsule coffins? Uh, but a time capsule is something you would dig up. Exactly. Eventually, yeah. But of course, he's telling everyone to leave. Of course, just like, try as I might, I couldn't kill Superman. But sure as hell, I'm going to bury him. What's yeah, all the funeral... Yeah. What's yep. this art? In this, in this uh, John, John other Bogdanov, one panel, Lex looks like a yo-yo character. <laughs> John Bogdanov. We saw, we saw his artwork during the deaths. But yeah, again, Ma and Pa, they are... This is just eating them up. And then, yeah, even with you, like, great, great photo you took, Jimbo. Really captured the spirit of Superman's death. Line up, guy. It's going to make you famous. Of course, Lois is still wondering about calling Ma uh, Mark Jonathan and Martha. Mm. Again, I don't blame her. Can you did, about not calling? Yes, it's probably going to be hard, though. Because that's also accepting that it's real. Mm. Yeah, not to mention what terms are were, were they? No, look at obviously the, 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 she and Clark were engaged to be married at this point. Yeah, and look at that moment. Look at this. Uh, and I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, myself remember the kind of post crisis uh, interactions Lois had with Ma and Pa again. It's uh, which there were some, which there were there were plenty by this point. Mm. So it's, yeah. uh, the terms would be good. Of course, people are now going to accept that Clark is missing. Now, I love Perry. Like, you know, Lois, I always thought of you as one of Superman's real friends. You're the one who should be marching in the funeral procession and the one to be president at burial. Want to go in my stead? Thanks, Perry, but no. Now, I can see why Lex would pick Perry, because he represents the planet who has always been the pillars of Superman. Mm. No. But now, I, I think that's Lois's mind standing on that edge. Yeah, how the hell would she even climb up there? Because the, the doors to the roof are way below the pedestal again, holding again, the globe. Again, this is just in her mind. Like, Clark, oh, Clark, where are you? How can you leave me? Don't you know how much I love you? This, again, is what, one of the biggest reasons why I will always defend Clovis. Always was this. Because... Mm. Mainly because you gotta remember Superman and Wonder Woman by this point 
were colleagues. Barely even that. Uh. They interacted a couple of times, but it was more of a case where Wonder Woman respected him and, yes, missed him. But she makes them no different than any of the other leaguers, is what I'm saying. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes it makes sense in that in that case. Not mention it here in a like. A, there's the one whole thing about by which which Jared would justify that Superman and Wonder Woman should be in, in a because same same powers than level same thing. Uh, also, but, 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 but I also also would like to see that the, the character even when uh, with Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman are are, are the pillars of DC. They are still their own. Let's go with sandboxes. Yeah, and 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 Superman and Lois Lane, they they, it, they can exist in their own sandbox. Superman yes. and Wonder Woman would have would have had to have to have to bridge those two sandboxes. Which by this and point, that would they be wouldn't. editorial would never have allowed it. Mm. Yeah, editorial. So, yeah, it's, it's it's it can work on elsewhere stories or anything else. But if you if you try to do that, that uh, create a, create an IP or a or a story universe, you need to start with their own individual sandboxes exactly. and bridge them and, all, on other ways. But yeah, so basically, by the time they would have, they could have done anything much more with Superman and Wonder Woman. That was de- you know, well after this, well after so much. It's, and it's like it was actually close to Infinite Crisis when they started to actually bring all of these back together again. Hmm. You gotta remember that. I mean, even when they, when they interacted in JLA, it was as colleagues, nothing more. Yeah. But anyway, he's been missing before. He always came back. He's never been dead. Trump's from the funeral cortege down below. Wait for me, Clark. I'm coming. Clark's lining the sidewalk ten deep. Gonna have to fight my way through. I'm coming. Wait. Oop! The plaque marks the spot where he fell. So many flowers, like everybody in the city, piled flowers here. Of course, uh, and again, she's just now, even in her mind, babbling incoherently, which again makes sense. Yeah, obviously, it would be. This is something that you can turn yourself off to. And this is Louise Simonson. So, an actual woman writing this makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lois, some of the guys saved us a place up in front. Been waiting for you. Come on, he's almost here. You have to hurry. Just look at that. Look uh, at that. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, which has Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern, Maxima, Geoforce, Sasam, Animal Fire, Man, uh, Guardian. Well, I see that. I think that's Prince Gavin there. I think that's the Prince Gavin uh, Star Man. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And Long Gated Man, Fire the on, on the Walk, and Animal. Obsidian, uh, uh, Mr. Miracle, was, yep. Nightwing. Oh, even Dr. Light, uh, the Forever People, the Metal Man. Uh, oh, Wildebeest. Uh-huh. They, they get a really obscure when going to going the way all the way to the back. Yep. Oh, and this is um um Keith, the kid from um, you know, dealing with the underworlders. Mm. They're there looking at everyone. And again, they're just all like, he's passed now. It's over, Lois. Come on, let's go inside. It's oh. not over. Look, Jimmy, the whole crowd is following. Lois, wait. I'm not sure it's a good idea. I want to. I need to be with him at the end. Like he was always there for all of us. Oh, geez, Lobo. Now, remember this. When Lobo and him fought way back during the Eradicator storyline, he eventually passed out and had memory loss. So as far as he's concerned, he never got a piece of him. Oh. Oh, look at this. Guy had so hard, his butt's over his head and his eyeball flew out. Ooh. Say it ain't so. 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 Hubba da, hubba da, hubba da, hubba da. <laughs> oh, jeez. Superman made Daddy stop hitting Mommy. And I'm glad. Shut up, crybaby. This is from yeah, so of course the older brother will be the asshole and think um he's and Superman's fault our daddy ain't with us no more. And Keith being the good kid brings his cat tiger to help make the kids feel better. Hmm. Like a oh, okay. uh, 
Oh, and then Batman. This guy was ready to put. This guy was ready to blow up in a suicide bomb. Oh. I explain the bomb in your pocket, Bob. Whoop bomb! I'm a patriot fighting oppression. I innocent people will be hurt in the bombing. No, no, it says who harbor and harbor the monster who. who no, don't drop me. I'll turn myself in. I'll do anything. Don't tempt and just don't drop me. Don't tempt me. I'm a trouble in Superman's town. For today, I'll play it his way. Help! Arrest me, Harry! Please, Batman might come back. <laughs> Oh, it's also the even the underworld. Why, why was the nine in the nineties? They had or up to the war games. They had that whole thing that Batman was supposed to be an urban legend. Not no one will, no one would have uh, uh, people would, uh, suspected not to be out there. That's why he wasn't talk, walking out along with everyone else. Exactly. But yeah, we even have the underworlders. We, like, 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 look, it's on the rooftop and in the in the sewers. Oh. I love. Oh boy! Get your T-shirts. Get your bag and test and test issue and daily point of test issue. Like, uh, hey, you! What do you mean trying to catch on Superman's death? Ain't you got no respect? Look, man, Superman saved my family from a burning building, but now we're on the street and I'm out of work, man. We gotta get something that, that got to eat somehow. Superman was my favorite because he was tough, but he always tried to help the little guy. Much as I'd like to smash this twerp sense and this twerp, Superman wouldn't like it. Like, mm. I'll take them all. Every t-shirt, every paper. All. But that must, this must be 300 and 300. I can't take the soldier stuff. Now shut up and listen. You want honest work? Come see me tomorrow. Name's Bibbo. I own the Ace of Club. Let's go, boys. I, now that's smart. He just buys them all. Oh. But I love it. Yeah. You soldier stuff. Now shut up and listen. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we got and decided to. So, no, no, you're not going to. No one is going to capitalize on Superman's death on his watch. So, yeah, he decided this to. Guy is that yeah. Desperate for money, you know, for yeah. money. Yeah, so he decided to. He buys all, buys all of it for himself and then gives it to his friend. Yeah. But, yeah, they're making it now. Keep in mind, remember who was president by this point? Well, you'll find out. Oh, Rex Leach. We'll see him again in Superboy, but I love how he was established here. Oh. He's the guy who was trying to get some money, you know, to buy off of um um uh Jimmy, you know, Jimmy's photo, saying he'll give him five percent the net. Oh. Of course, then things start to go haywire now because of this. Oh boy. Yeah, oh, yeah. start up hey, making dude, quit waving that gun around. Show some respect. Yeah, try to get, try to cause a ruckus in a funeral with a multiple superheroes present. Did not yep. think it's true. Oh boy, but just imagine now this. I remember Louise Simonson saying how much that she loved and that writing this was just painful. That how much is it just Martha's hating seeing this, seeing that the funeral becoming this farce. Just imagine how this is for her, right? Mm. Hey, Jonathan, he's our son. I can't just, and I'm getting welled up just going over this again, dude. The mm. memories are coming back. Jonathan, he's our son. I can't just stand by and watch what they're doing to his funeral. Then Martha, honey, turn this thing off. We'll say goodbye our, 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 to our son in our own way. Mm. Oh, see? Clinton and Hillary, Bill and Hillary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of weird how. I, how... Young is ago. they look they look here compared to every news outlet and an image and, a, and, a, and that have they have been on the, on the recent years. Yeah, but this also dates the story. Mm, unfortunately. But yeah, now Lois does try calling now, but unfortunately they're not there. Mm. Like I should have called before. Why would they have such a coward? I hope they're all right. I love this. They take mm. all of his favorite keepsakes, everything, and they're going to bury him in the hall where he landed. Mm. Just look at this. Uh. We didn't know where you came from, but we didn't care. You are ours, the sweetest little baby in the universe, our gift from heaven. And right from the start, mm. we loved you with all our hearts. Look mm. at this. Some of his Scrap favorite book. keepsakes, a scrapbook, uh. a teddy bear, his blanket, a ball uh, and, um, and mitt. Mm. 
Uh, just look at that. Come on, Martha Johnson, answer the phone, please. Oh, and this is the moment when they finally answer it. Martha, thank oh. heaven. I was so worried. I'm sorry I haven't called before. I just couldn't couldn't believe it was true. And I gotta say, this is reminding me about the bit with um in Superman Doomsday where Anne Hesh, God rest her soul, she oh. nailed that seed of Lois going to Martha. You know what I mean? Mm. But yeah, yeah, it was yeah, it, it was still kind of weird because it was at that point where it was just Martha, See, no Jonathan. Yeah, it was just Martha, and there were no, 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 no bark end. And a lot of reason it was still kind of that, that Lois didn't know that uh, that Clark oh, was Superman, so was and, and, and they, they were in a relationship. She was in a in a relationship with Superman, and Superman was like, "You're talking thinking about Kent. I'm jealous." <laughs> Exactly. Basically, that was the one where it's like, I want to know what you're, like, you like you to confirm your your Clark. Uh, I can't. I. Uh... But anyway, I just couldn't couldn't believe it was true that he was really dead. But they they just buried him. It it took a while to get the crowd settled down in. And I asked myself, what could I say to you, Jonathan? It's Lois, the poor child. I think she needs us. How can you forgive me? I was there all the time, Clark Park Doomsday, and all I could do was report on the fight and watch him die. I couldn't do anything but watch him die. Listen to me, Lois. It's not your fault. Oh, by the way, look up the Superman Doomsday audio. You could use that. Mm. You could use this, 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 almost all of his word for word. That I'll look it up quickly, all right? Hold on. Uh, BBC Radio 199. Yeah, yep, Superman Dubs and Beyond. Yeah. Oh. Like moments like this. This bit here was all there. Like, listen to me, Lois. It's not your fault. You did all you could. Everyone did everything they okay, could. Okay, put it into watch later at least. Yep. We're coming, sweetie. Hold on a little while. We'll be right there. And that's the other thing I love about this, that Louis Simonson said. They were becoming disparate, but once they heard Lois, they realized they could help her. Hmm. Kind of give them a renewed sense of purpose for at least a time being. That they could oh, be there to help just... Lois through this. Again, once you hear that from the writer, it makes so much sense that that's how much they care. And I'll be honest, here's what we also be honest about. I can never see Mom and Pa really develop that much of an attachment to what to Diana. Mm, likely not. Would you agree? That's with because that? we, yeah, it's probably also because uh, Diana would uh, always uh, saw Superman as Carl. Uh, exactly. uh, that's what I tried uh, telling uh, him. Uh, that's yeah. exactly what I tried telling Jared. He always oh. saw him as Cal. But you always say she still would call him Clark. Yeah, she might call him Clark, but to her, he was always Cal Al, not mm. Clark Kent. And that was mm. always my biggest disconnect. Di Di and Diana did not, and she respected him as the, his true nature, Clark and Kal El. Because Clark mm. Kent stuff, it's like, that's not who you really are, even though that is who he really is. She's more like, that's the one thing that always bothered me about Diana. She looked at him and who he really was on a technical level, mm. not deep down. And now uh, that applied to New 52 Superman, yes. But not, you know, mm. oh, this, the mail, Metropolis mailbag. This was them falling off of the hall, him reading the letters during Christmas and everything. Oh. Oh, look, yeah, remembering about Jason Todd's death. Mm. But look, there's Mitch. And it was Mitch Anderson, yeah. not Mitch Mitchell said. I was thinking about that yeah. with Powerpuff Girls. Yeah. Yeah, he came all the way into Metropolis. Why? Because there was a woman there claiming to be Mrs. Superman. Now we're uh, reaching that point of a person's death where people start coming out of the woodwork. Yeah. And I love how she's like, for years, Superman and I have lived secretly in a Park Avenue penthouse. He kept, like, ours was a life of vacation in Vegas and Paris. Oh, please! Lois, why don't you let the woman finish? Jimmy also, don't tell me you're buying this load of baloney. That child is no more Mrs. Superman than I am. Yeah, anybody can see she's lying. 
but we I say we cover the story and pin her to the wall. No, people are already flocking to the city to visit Superman's grave. Some are earnest good souls, but other are morbid leeches like her. Let's not encourage more to crawl of the woodwork. Oof. I love that. She's no more Mrs. Superman than I am. <laughs> because she did she, almost she was close to getting there, but no. no. But in the public eye, she probably would have been the closest. Mm. All right, I'll see you later, Jim. I have some friends to meet. Of course, yeah, even he feels like sure wasn't like Lois to be snappy. Guess Superman's death hit her hard. But Gordon's like, that woman who just walked off said the lady up there wasn't really Mrs. Superman. Is that true? Yeah, she's just an, an, uh, another in a long line of fraud. One guy claimed to be Superman's business manager, and another even claimed to be his tailor. What, do you know the lady? No, I he, basically he wanted to find someone he thought was close to Superman to apologize for all the crap he said. Oh. What does it say about Mitch that he changed that much that he put in the money to leave home to come and try and apologize to someone? That tells how much that eats away at him, right? Mm. And here's the other thing. He blames himself. He felt like if he hadn't said anything, Superman could have stopped him today, then and there. Mm. Again, can you blame him? No. But yeah, I'm like, well, then you found your man. You look hungry. Because he's like, I want to know someone who knew with Superman. That's all. Well, you found your man. Uh -huh. Oh, boy. But then, now look again. Look at Lois. She's just. Oh. Uh. Again, this. I'm going to repeat myself, but this is Lois's story throughout all of this. Uh -oh. Lois is the heart of this story. Uh -oh. And there they are. We're here. Oh, thank God. Finally, I can. And again, this is what I love about the triangle numbers. Look at this. The plot is continuing. Even with different writers, you really can't tell the difference, can you? Yeah, no. They clearly pretty much wrote this or, or mapped it out together. They and always then did. They, they, they always mapped or, it yeah, out. You write this uh, uh, leading up to this that I'm doing, and, uh, and, and I, I write exactly. it so that you can get you can get to that this on your, your issue. Exactly. But again, you can tell some slight nuances in the writing or what characters they're emphasizing, but for the most part, this era, you couldn't tell who was writing mm. if, it was, if the names weren't there. But yeah, even Lana showed up, and they didn't expect that. Mm. Of course, that's a little funny that they were there waiting, and then Lana, whoop, it's like, uh, was she waiting in another room, or, <laughs> yeah. or did she walk in? Yeah, while well, they were busy there, she was just... <laughs> no, but the fact like, Lana, we didn't expect you, but, but the way it looked, that's a little bit of a funny image you can't get over, right? It's like, uh... But yeah, this is them doing the Superman, you know, reading the letters and helping people. Ha, huh, what a bunch of tweets. Bet everyone's asking for the safe thing. Of course, my fans know I got more important things to do than help them change a light bulb. Guy Gardner, there are a number of, true, of truly unfortunate souls in this world. I have nothing but admiration for a man who is willing to give, out, to give of himself to help those who often go unheard. See that, again, this is the Diana who is, it's just I. Uh, she's not even Diana. She's Wonder Woman. Mm. Again, good writing, but the same time you get what I'm saying, right? Oh, no kidding. Listen to this. This kid's from and this letter's from a kid who wants Superman to bring him some artifact from another planet the next time he leaves Earth. I doubt uh, other man uh, other man gets mail like this. Here's a request from a man who wants to, uh, Superman to help him search for a lost city of gold for an equal share of the profit. This old gal is terminal and about to kick kick off. Seems she wanted Big Blue to help find her son, who split over 30 years ago. Uh, you, I never liked Kimio's outfit here. I hated the yellow outfit. Yeah, that yellow is not garish. Okay. Yeah, black and okay. white is a is a it was a better works better as a con contrast there. Yep, and this is also around the time where they tried to claim her bad attitude was from artificial sweeteners because there was that belief back then that artificial sweeteners induce mood swings. Stupid, uh. I know. But yeah, guy decides to fly out and find the other guy. Then we have others like, um, wow, this farmer suffered through so many droughts, he's about to lose the farm. He's begging Superman to make it rain. 
it must have been extremely diff- difficult for Cal Al to read these stories. See right there, Cal Al, mm. read these stories yeah. and know that he can possibly do help with everyone. Learn, listen to this. Thank you. From oh, and it turns out this is from Mitch's mom. Uh-huh. She's thanking them for their saving their lives. Even mm. in the face of being homeless and in financial ruin, this poor woman thinks because she sent it right after they left, but before his death. Uh-huh. That's the only way I could think about it. Flash, Green Lantern, I believe this is our opportunity to repay Superman. Of course, yeah, then they're like, you know, like, you know, Mitch, I've seen you before. Were you in the news recently? Sort of. See that doomsday thing trash our place in Ohio, and of course, I have seen your picture. Yeah, press was all over us. Pretty big deal. But yeah, talked about what happened. Like, that's why it's my fault. If it wasn't for me, Superman would still be alive. Hey, don't go say no that, little buddy. Again, I love Bibbo. He's just as much the heart of all this. Bibbo mm. was always a fan favorite of the writers, and it shows, doesn't it? Yeah, it shows. Also, why they decided to have him included in the, the 90s cartoon, too. Yep. I could uh, and was it nothing you could have done to save Superman? Could too. See, I used to think Superman was a real dork. I was even joking with my friends about it earlier that day. I mean, I jinxed him. That's why I snuck off to Metropolis when I heard Superman's widow was going to be here. I wanted to apologize. My pal was a bachelor. No way he wear a ball and chain. <laughs> 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 okay, people have this image of Superman. Not mm. that I blame him. Yeah. Uh. I mean, do you? Can you? Uh, no, people have their own interpretations, but at least they don't force that. that what I believe is the only real real way to look at it. Yep, of course, yeah, it's like, that's some complete, str- like, I know, okay, like, yeah, he's just arguing. Superman died fighting for, our, uh, for us while my own father was nowhere to be seen. You know, I love this. It's like, you give them money, like, gee, I can't take a bus fare from you, Mr. Bibbo. There's enough in there for an airfare, kid. Heck, if my belt Superman was still around, he'd fly you home in this nasty weather himself. Cause yeah, Bibbo won the lottery before. That's how he's able to buy the Ace of Clubs. So he's rich. Go him. But he's rich enough to also still want to keep on the ground level. Damn, I just realized. Why did Helen in small they'll have a Bibbo also? Yeah. Bibbo Babowski. And turns yeah. out he was named after. There was a real life Bibbo that would always help um, Jerry Ardway. Jerry Ardway talked about how his mother was a single mother raising them. And mm. that we had that, that Bibbo was this all crusty drunk soldier who would always come by to help. He saw the dark side to him, but and he was a good man. And there was one point where the cops and them were fighting outside. The kids were, you know, Jerry and his brother were like, Mommy, look. And she ran out and told him, Back off, back off, and helped him out. Hmm. So the fact that he's based on a real life guy always struck with me, you know. Hmm. I love how Linus oh. making a good point. Sooner or later, we have to decide whether or not we tell the world that Clark and Superman were one and the same. Good point. Of course, they hmm. all come to an agreement. No, it stays with us. Hmm. Yeah, leave it for the double day. Just on. Yeah, even said like yeah. maybe the world, maybe the world thinks it deserves to know about Superman's life. But it's up to us to keep it quiet. Because they want to avoid, like, what, you know, um, people like that gold-digging woman. Mm. Oh, Roger Hansen? Yes, I'm your man. What can I... Ay, ay, ay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> but basically, she tell, he tells her about what happened with his wife and everything. And it's like, no, Claire and I haven't talked for weeks. What happened? Maybe I come, I could come inside and talk with you if you'll bear, if you'll bear with me. Mm. <laughs> but look at all this and, and Jimmy and a guy even finds the woman's son and brings him there uh-huh. Uh-huh. oh look they're trying to help Bear like Papa, I, that's, I, I, I'm not sure I understand it either sweetie but considering the fact that your brother's gone maybe we deserve a Christmas miracle but yeah and then Mitch is there just having a talk with Superman you know before he leaves even says like I used to figure you were a real loser. Shows what kind of what a zero I was. I know better now. You laid it down the line for us, man. My old man had, had cut out, but not you. And then sure enough, 
his dad, they want to, he wants to be a family again. Now, unfortunately, then Jurgen would later reveal that his father would die from cancer not long afterwards, but it's clearly it helped in that moment. Oh. And I like that. You know what I mean? Like, sure, he's having it be like, oh, he died? It's like, well, yeah, but, you know. Oh, whatever time they had left, they probably hopefully spent it well. well. Exactly, exactly. Now, obviously, um, he wasn't right. He didn't consider having him die off this point. It was during the Doomsday Annual where he revealed it. Hmm. Oh, and then they are there to memorialize, but it turned out underground, Cadmus and Westfield is taking the body away. And that would lead. This would lead into now. Now we're past the funeral. Now it's time to trying to steal someone trying to steal the body. Mm. Because of course they would. Of course. But man, just look at these covers. Oh boy. <laughs> huh. Very what? least they put. Luthor had it, had it alarm, put alarms in it. So it oh, yeah. is, in okay. case it smart was move, disturbed. smart move. Uh, and for court promotes that, that was Supergirl, of course. Yeah, it's a. Uh, uh, yeah. There's something I, I actually, when someone looking at all this, uh, that I am not an expert on fashion, <laughs> but what, who the hell designed that? <laughs> but that's just pajamas, obviously, a pajama yeah. skirt. Oh. But yeah. It, but uh, but yeah, of course for a moment, she, of course she thinks like um, that uh, that he could still be alive. But no, it doesn't necessarily mean that. It just means someone's moved the body. Mm. Of course, he's then wondering, could he still be alive? Oh, by the way, you want to know who voiced um, Lex during all this? Mm -hmm. Um, hold on, let me just double check the guy. Um, I gotta double check the guy's name again. Hold on. Um, okay. William Hootkins. Oh. Is that naming a bell? <laughs> Porkins. Porkins from Star Wars. Oh, yeah, that okay. I never knew that. Yeah, that's someone character you all know as the character. Yeah, and the he actors. was also in Batman. He was also in Batman as uh, Eckhart. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Yep, and Indiana Jones as one of the um people hiring up. You know, he's a guy who went top men. Oh. Ooh. All right, now I know. And he was also in Superman Four as one of the um um the guys that Lex was trying to sell um um the you know um um his you know all the stuff to the guy's like get the sun out of my eye. Hmm. But yeah, he was Lex here, and when we get to it, I cannot wait to read one of the speech he gives towards the end. But yeah, of course, Supergirl's trying to find fly out and over there. There's someone there um, in disguise as a homeless bub watching it, and sure enough, now they, like that's the interior of the tomb. I mean, it makes sense. Mm. Of course, looks she like still a, thinks. Yeah, he's that alive. looks like a burial crypt. But again, she feels like he's still alive. But it's like, why would he take his own coffin with him then, Supergirl? Yeah, fool's hope is better than no hope at all. Said the grimoire vice. Oh boy! So apparently now, um, in the in between times, Jose and um Cat broke up because he snapped and yeah, yeah he snapped and smashed the TV. Mm, obviously. Well, that and also he wanted to go back out fighting, and she didn't. That's more mm. the reason why he feels he has to be gangbusters. Okay, and, those two other things that probably would have could have been excused as heat of the moment the reactions, but yeah, but why to be yeah, but that that, that was that. Why did we become gangbuster? Probably it was the last straw. Exactly, exactly. And the, but I mean, great. That's a case where I can accept it happening off page. Mm. Can you? Yeah, it's because it is a supporting side character. Not, it's not that important. Mm-hmm. He's more important compared to a civilian, but yeah. Mm. Oh, then um, oh yeah, Inspector Henderson. Oh, assaulting I, a police officer. That's whoops, but he lets it slide. He lets it slide, but it's like, heads up, bub. I'm a cop. Okay, son, so am I. Inspector Henderson, I'm sorry. 
kind of tightly wound, Jose. So, uh, something like that could land you in jail, Delgado. Shouldn't sneak up at a guy who used to be a Golden Glove champ, Henderson said, especially now. Back to a cold bark bench for me. So Henderson knows about him being gangbuster. Huh. But, and now, Mom and Pa are still staying around to try until they feel Lois is good, you know? Hmm. Oh, boy, this lady is like, he says, go away. Hey, sorry, Mr. L. I only wanted to stay out. Blasted cow, cow. Shouldn't have let her get under my skin. That It's just that. Hi, Lex. Did you miss me? By the way, you were right. The hole was made from the outside coming in. But as for the tunnel itself, yes, what did you find? Yeah, they basically used the underworld's tunnels to find it through. Mm. Turpin's showing up. And now he's decided he's going to go in there. Hmm. Hey, that sucks. Was it that uh, Dan Turman's Wikipedia pro Wikipedia image? That? The one on the right, top right. Yeah. Huh. This one? Yeah. Looks very Kirby-like, because he, he was created by Kirby. Oh. Huh. But yeah, oh, I love how Bibbo's willing to help, and then, uh-oh, then Gangbuster helps, uh, helps out. Whoop! <laughs> Again, nice little action sequence as he's mm. back. Uh oh, she's fighting the, the underworlders who don't know what's going on. Turpin's showing up, and I love this. Turpin is muscle. Mm. Oh, Cluster, I am Cluster, invulnerable inside and out. Why do you think underworld takes Superman? We hear he am dead, stupid girl. Why did you take his body out of the tomb? And oh, and the name Stupid Girl, not Stupid Girl. Oh, look at that. See what I mean? Yeah. Uh, nice rock you got there. Prepare to die. And of course, diverge, we call it sequ the sequence number seven. Well, here's eight, eight, eight and nine. I'm going to, like, relax, Turpin. We're out of here. Hey, my trousers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just oh. look, he's like a caveman walking out, isn't he? Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, well, did you two bind for anything? And Maggie, for God's sake, give me a blanket. I'm freezing. <laughs> Look at that smile uh, on her face. Uh, got a little <laughs> humor. Yep. But yeah, they re they realizing Camus is the one who took the body. Mm. Uh, hold on, I got I got to skip through past one thing, and that will be this. So I want to make sure I have um, 500 next. Oh. Here we go. Just so I can have that prepared for when we're done. But Okay. Who's buried in Superman's tomb? Again, I just love reading all these issues. Just imagine how I was as a kid. Reading all this without the context, but still getting engrossed in all these characters around Superman. Yeah. This is yeah. a... Guardian helping out. <laughs> Whoop! Right onto the bike. Mm. And like you're crazy. Not like that. Uh, uh, not not likely. That crazy cycle is a good deal smarter than you are. Even as a recording of what happened there, so they can give it to him and help you know figure things out. And now we're getting a bit about um, him talking with um, Happerson about who's the one of the few who knows the truth. So we just get a summary about Lex becoming, you know, this clone body and everything. So he's wondering, what if Superman had a plan of miracle of his own? Hmm. But I love that. This is perfectly a summary for people who don't know much about Lex. This gets give him a refresher. Oh. Got it. But yeah, so they're making their way in there, trying to figure out what's going on, you know, what to do. We've got um, Duplex and the the newsboys, he said, everyone, um, are figuring out, like, Superman, I can't believe you did this. Because, you know, Westfield, he don't care. Yeah. Of course, Guardian is pissed. But of course, he's saying, we're trying to recreate Superman. Just like how he was brought back to life. Hmm. But sure enough, his body is still Im invulnerable. That uh -oh. brings up whole what's the 
but discounting the emotional reactions and 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 all of that what's the appropriate punishment for grave disagration agreed oh boy but now there's going to be a flood underwater now of course everyone's starting to leave now like lois so, lois sorry marcia just when um, wool gathering no i'll be fine come on we better get you folks to the airport <laughs> and the uh, water is now flooding in they're trying to get everyone out of there um uh, where's dan right here maggie let me give you a hand inspector it's uh, it's doc hefferson here who needs the assist i'm just a little soggy oh look a call for superman of course there would be a call and this connects back to something story i done in the co when action comics was a weekly years ago hmm so again, everyone is just wondering what's going on. Oh, look, Lois and Lana having this nice moment here. Just look at that. Um, and even saying, like, I would gladly give up 20 years of my own life. So would I, Lana. Please hmm. keep an eye on the Kents. They're going to need you. And you take care of yourself. If you ever need a shoulder, I promise whenever you need me, I'll always be there. Uh, again, that is beautiful. Hmm. Oh boy. Now here's one of Lois's nightmares. She's just reading, go, go, being the news reporter as he's going down and eventually, Clark, Clark, oh, I'm sorry. I was just so tired of my work. I didn't hear you call. Wait, don't go. I love you, Clark. I'll save uh... you. Huh. That's an interesting nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. Superman drowning and not being able to fly out of the water. And then, unfortunately, Underworlds are dealing with this, you know, the water seeping through and everything. Oh, boy. Now, Pa, we've been focused on Martha accepting, but pa, Jonathan still hasn't. Mm. Oh, look at this. Hey, Pa, look, I got her all cleaned up. What you think? Clark, you're the best, aren't you, Bessie? I've never seen a prettier little calf in my whole life. Really, Pa? Do you think maybe she's got a chance at Blue Ribbon at the 4-H exhibit at the fair? I, if hard work and care can make a calf a winner, son, that little gal's a Blue Ribbon champ. Thanks, Pa. If she wins, it'll be because of you. Me, Clark, you're the one who taught me how to care. Aww. Oh, boy. The, the, the newsboy leads are like, what? Hey, how did the FC Red's body here? Um, mm. uh, Lois is starting to realize something's up, but she's going to help out. Oh, again, look at Jonathan here again. Just look, give them a little airplane. <laughs> bye bye. I got to fly it out someday, son. Uh. Someday. Uh. Of course, it doesn't matter how Martha's feeling like it's like, Jonathan, are you all right? Right? Oh, uh. uh, but one of them reveals it knows that it was a bomb that caused it. Oh, look at these weird creatures. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. um, oh boy. Um, yeah, they're trying to move everyone out of the area for the moment, but an explosion. What explosion? Oh, Batman's remembering about being given the kryptonite ring. Yeah. I like this showing just a nice bit. When everybody again knows there, the Superman books took time to show something about him and Batman. They never show about him and Wonder Woman. Because mm. the most interesting romance had, over, yeah, because the, romance the, the, is uh, probably what well, it's went not just better that, in nineties. The only interaction they ever had with him, Action Six Hundred, mm. and that was when um, you know, they went on a date that ended up leading to them dealing with apocalypse. That was it. Mm -hmm. And all to be fair, the Wonder Woman office were very protective of Diana. Well, then. So yeah, Superman here and uh, Wonder Woman hears about uh, well, Wonder Woman, Lois hears about all his head down. Maggie's down there. Lois is basically feeling like his body's gone. What's going on? I want answers. So yeah, they're trying to figure out what's you know they show. They're, they're, Charlie shows them about the um, the explosive. Oh, we get reminded of this bit. The whole they all wanted a piece of me. Oh yeah, this is from Man of Steel. Yep. 
But again, it's just made clear this is eating up at him so much. He feels it's his fault. It was his idea, the costume, the identity. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, now Lois, yeah. Oh boy, I prefer the coloring in the trade. The coloring here is not good. Hmm. Is it? Yeah, it's kind of. It, it I, think, it looks I don't like know what's it. up with the coloring here. It's all wonky. Mm. This is not the color that was in the issues. See, that's the hey. usual coloring. Oh, yeah. Comparing the two, yeah. Felt like this color is carried over from that page, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. But look, look at Lois. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, they're actually fighting their way through. Hmm. <laughs> you reminding you that Lois can take handle her own. Mm. Of course, yeah. it'll be the Louis Simonson issue that would have her kick ass, right? Yeah, at least and this and in this case, it's against opponents um, that can that uh, that she, that she can that she would realistically can fight on her own without needing anything to make it look more badass like that. Yeah, like how Jared keeps bringing up the hell about armor from Thomas's rebirth. Yeah, one. but that's dealing with threats where she needs it. Mm. Yeah, but this one she can do it all on her own with 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 yeah. adrenaline, emotional outburst, and yeah, what, what, what she has been raised, Tra with, trained, raised trained by her trained, father and everything. On, on. But yeah, they realize du Duplex is coming, so they move out of there, and now she starts writing a story to um to, to tell everyone about what's going on. But then Jonathan collapses. Oh, Jonathan, not you too, Jonathan. Hmm. Well, I think we know what he survives from that heart attack. Yep. I know that other. Damn. Hmm. these muscles. Yep. We get some reminders, and then this woman drop kicks him. Hmm. And I love this. Like, oh, Lex, you sure? Are you still in the gym? Right, you're obviously not your father. Good day, Lois. How so? If that overweight, over and all power broker had ever been drop kicked like that, he'd have to kick the kicker put on ice. Good thing you're not like that, eh, Mr. Luther? True, Sasha. How very true. But of course, when she showed her, I have like, this is outrageous. Project Cadmus has stolen Superman's body. They're gonna cut him up for cloning, Lex. I'm afraid, afraid that if he's uh, if that the story if I run the full story runs, he'll just deny and take him someplace else. Right, and right you are. Let me uh, go work on this. That's why I came to you, Lex. You're the only man with enough power to ensure that Superman gets the treatment he deserves. Yeah, she's falling for it. You mm -hmm. know the act. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, John, poor Jonathan is, of course, you know, on death's door. Oh, just look at this. Uh, oh, look at these uh, these photos. This no. is what we talking with uh, Mr. Thornton of the um of Newsweek or Newstime. And basically, and again, this is where we have that moment where it's like, I'd give up all these photos. And he says he wants you to pick the cover photo of the symbol I did for the dedication, which they did actually make a physical version of it. Mm-hmm. Your DC did. Ah. Uh. And sure enough, he picks the cape. Hmm. Yeah, uh, because it doesn't show Superman dead. It's just it's just a symbol. Yeah. Oh, and sure enough, Lex strangles the, uh, the woman, which would eventually come back to bite him in the ass decades later. Oh. Uh. That's right. Yeah, they're, like, they're, like in when, when the Black Lanterns attacked in the, in the, in the no, Blackest no, no, Night, no, no, was no, he one no. of the co corpses that came after no, him? No, no, no. Because Lex didn't have to deal with them. Hmm. Remember, Lex didn't have to deal with the Black Lanterns like that. I mean, if she was, she was just probably mixed in with the crowd. Nothing special about her. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. But yeah, oh, David, me, I don't remember who these biker guys are. Obviously not in these stereotypes. But yeah, basically they're all intercepting um, Superman's body, and sure enough, Supergirl, a bit anticlimactic, but it makes sense. Supergirl just catches up and gets the body back. Oh. Oh, and look at this. 
he's just hallucinating. But yeah, they bury him, and here's this moment. And so that was Jurgen that wrote this. But anyway, if you two wouldn't mind, I'd like a few, a few to be alone for a few minutes to pray. Now, this in the audio, he has this accent, but then eventually he'd be like, Gotcha. So I win. I knew I'd bury you one day, you sanctimonious, self righteous pain. I owned this town until you came along. There wasn't a man on earth who could who could stop me from doing whatever I pleased. And if anyone dared interfere, they were given a one way ticket to hell. That's the main reason I killed her, you know. That Sasha witch. I throttled the light from her throat with my bare hand just to prove to you that I was king again. When they find her body tomorrow, all the evidence will point to a janitor at LexCorp, an ex con, no less. Of course he'll deny the murder, but no one will believe him. And you can't do one blasted thing about it. You're dead. You are nothing. And I am back on top. Our metropolis is mine again. And you are an empty, lifeless, withering husk. Gotcha! <laughs> Hopkins, you could tell, was enjoying eating the scenery with that. Mm. Again, that's a bit I think you should use because you'll love it once you hear it. But yeah, oh, me, yeah. Jonathan, and believe it, remember this. This actually then would lead into them stopping issues for a while. Because oh. they had to realize, crap, what are we going to do next? Ah, ha, ha. Which eventually leads to this issue. Issue and Jerry Orway's last issue. Oh. And sure enough, he's realizing, you know, he's basically in his mind, he's now entering the afterlife. And he's gonna try and help bring Clark back. Oh. Wait, don't go, not until light. I have to, Pa. It's pulling me, compelling me to enter. But you can't go, Clark. All, uh, this is all that remains of Clark. These clothes, his glasses. From here on, the journey must be traveled by kel the last son of Krypton. Go back and rejoin the living, Jonathan Kent. The voices whisper that your time has not yet come. Sounds oh, more like Eradicator talking. It kind of is, yeah. No, I'm not letting go! Oh, that, and Lo, as soon as she heard, she flew over there as fast as she could. Oh. Alright. Anyway, anyway, sorry. But um but yeah, John's is now going through some of his history. It's this is powerful stuff, but you know, as he's remembering stuff like people and but then he's memory being the war, he remembers his, his brother getting killed um from a thrasher. Hmm. Um, you know, just it's basically a whole bunch of a hellscape almost. Mm. Of course, now John is, and uh, Lois just feels just as bad. Like, I guess if my face were stronger, I believe I could join Clark in an afterlife. That's what she's realizing what's going on. Oh, oh, that there's his own father pulling him up. I'm like, but you saw I wasn't hurt, you gave me quite the licking. Hup! That can be arranged, mortal. After I have introduced myself, it's Blaze! Satanus' sister! Oh. Basically, it's operating. Satanus. His what? Satanus. Satanus, yeah. Basically, he's. Oh, operating. yeah, that's that one character I was unable to recognize when I did the Red Sun. Yep. But yeah, this was um, operating the soul, his soul, the help that the airman is put. Go to hell! You cannot raise the dead, Jonathan Kent, but I can. Oh, wow. And then, oh, it's Kismet. Hmm. Yeah, I see her in the JLA Avengers. Yep. Now, granted, she's not exactly like Eternity, but she's close enough. Hmm. Now, they seem to be on Krypton. 
But then John's is going, oh, um, there's, um, I forget his name, um, a cleric. Oh. Again, he, but he's realizing they worship science as their god. So it's like, wow, wait, it's... this makes no sense. Because, yeah, because Kryptonians, they, they were pretty much so raw as their god. By the time of Burn, it was science, pure science. They'd given up Rao. Uh-huh. So it's like somebody's not right here. Hmm. But he even says, like, look at them. They're not Kryptonians. And sure enough, they fight off the demons. Oh, now these pages were never in the trade. It just goes straight to that. Wonder where they Is kept that Felix? them. Yeah, but even Keelix was fake. Huh. Like, recognize these? Clark and uh, thinks like a human. And we can basically, here's what he's realizing. The reason why he's doing this is because they passed on their 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 take on the afterlife to him and his upbringing. That this is all a psychological thing. Hmm. I like that. Yeah, if it was real, they would have. Yeah. Probably death and the endless would be somewhere. So it basically even says, you. like, you, you're Kryptonian. You're the last of your kind. You can't walk in the death doorway willingly, boy. That's more like it. Son, I'm convinced that the only reason you're here is that because we can't raise you with the concept of mortality. You've been conditioned to accept this fate, and maybe it doesn't have to be that way at all. Huh. And sure enough, uh-oh, jor is there. And remember what, jor what, what um, Jonathan did to get rid of the hologram? He whacked it with a shovel. Huh. Well, yeah, I, yeah, thing. I have read that. Look, <laughs> nice call back. <laughs> he even says like he was no more, more real than that shovel that cropped up out of the ether. So they uh -huh. make their way in. Oh boy, look at that. Mm. And he says like we did it. We both did. I brought it back. He didn't pass it out, but he's fine now. Superman seems to be flying by. They head on over there and look, they get all these things. Now, Bibbo takes up doing Superman works. We know that's clear. He's not one of them, but that's still cute. Uh. Uh, oh, we get what happened with Superboy saving that girl. Steel helping the one. Um, um, Cyborg Superman save, stopping the containment leak. And I'm not sorry, my attacker's dead. And then sure yeah. enough, he's gone. Not really. I see from the look of things, he's back. Superman's back. Uh, we didn't get these two, these little issues of, you know, hinting off to everything. The White Rabbit. Oh. A doomsday. Gotta stop Doomsday. That's supposed to be John Henry Irons. Yep. Um, we didn't see the Eradicator. You can't be Superman. He busts people. He don't toast them. You yeah. know how little you know. I have passed through the fires and the darkness and been chained. I have risen from the dead to continue the oh, never-ending battle. Well, I just realized the Injustice yeah. Superman's design where the cape comes from the shield. Yeah, it's like we're taking off of here. But you shall all know the vengeance of Superman. We didn't see um, Superboy being, um, uh, you know, getting out of there with the uh, Newsboy Legion. Boy, the fact that Megan Fitzmartin felt that this went this was a lesbian look. Nah, not Megan Fitzmartin. It, it was the uh, Max Visaggio. Yeah, Max Visaggio. Still though, it's like how this is a punk yeah. look. What do yeah. they think? Punk? Yeah, yeah. Punk this is a young young boy who wants to be seen as a man. Exactly. Then we get Cyborg Superman to melt down the plaque, and then yes, I'm back. So yeah, that how was red. that? How was that? See why that's my. I think it's the best of the trilogy. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty human character driven uh, with all the with all the all the all the human characters around Superman. This, this actually why, makes him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This makes my also kind of easier to see why why when. BVS had to had to, the Superman's death push in the in, at the end of it. Well, why most people were angry at, at the wasted potential and everything else. Yeah, but, exactly. But even, wasted potential. Yeah. They outed his identity. It's like why? 
Yeah, it's not even like some some of it, some, some parts of me and some of our reports and other things. I want to I want to believe that some of it was editor, studio editor, executive I mandates think, and, and some things, so. things, things. But, but even then, even then, then I can see it. I can see I, I can see what people what people wanted to see and and, what, and where it was going on. Not to mention. It, even if even if he was even even if they they wanted to do do the death at some point, they they, they probably could have said it for a for a later movie. And if they were not to mention, they, they, was, there was a talk that BVS was supposed to be two movies. Yeah. Now here's the other thing: Would you want a whole movie dedicated to the funeral? No. But at least the yeah. opening bit. Mm. I'll say this, even Superman Doomsday handled it well. They handled it yeah. that right balance. Yeah. I actually have been thinking about doing some kind of what if scenario of of re, of retelling like like doing a retelling of BBS without Batman in it to, to show it as a Superman movie that would have gone without Superman dying at the end and and then leading up to some kind of different movie that could have then been a, been Again, a, been a saying, BBS. Yeah, but like I said, but now you understand my love for Lois more so from this, right? Because this yeah. is, this was one of the first things I've read. That's the biggest yeah, reason. That's why I'm always the biggest defender of it. And again, yeah. it also shows why I don't buy the Superman Wonder Woman stuff. It's because of how um, Diana was in this, calling him Cal and everything. Yeah, it, yeah, that can be seen. But it's, it's, it also helps that the, but it also helps with these versions of Superman and Lois. The, Lois the, with these, you, I, can, I can see it. The, the new yeah. 52 versions, those no, were you different never, characters. They wrote that intentionally to, to keep it away. It was, yeah, basically probably. went out of their way to make sure. Right now, Morrison, he started to get to that point where you could have seen it, but then the other writer were like, bah. Oh. And then the truth came out and totally torpedoed everything. Yeah, it's it's pretty, it was, it sucks to be in that in there. On one, on one hand, I would, could have also, uh, also in the point where they decided to start uh, undoing it. Like I said in the Aquaman, the, the Throne of Atlantis video, they could have stuck up with what they had built up between Superman and Wonder Woman there, given them their till death do they part. And then we got the post the, these post-crisis versions of Superman and Lois to be in their place. Those others could have been allowed to be, be put to bed and we could have then gone back to the status quo without making yeah. mocking this mocking the other versions exactly and i and i can agree to that but again you just look at all this and like i said so much of the characters the best part was the first half let's be honest mm, yeah that's it's gonna be a very very hard to go through all of this or, or, or even try to compress it into some some the sum or the other stuff. If when I eventually get to working on the Death Seals open and stuff, and even uh, there, uh, I probably uh, here's what to... I recommend. Here's what I recommend. <laughs> Look up the. Do you have a copy of Superman Doomsday on physical media? No, I don't right. have been able to find it anywhere. All I pretty much have have in that sense is that I have the death. I have. A, I mostly have to have the scans for the for the other story that we did. On, yeah. on, on Wednesday, the death, the death. yeah, I have those scans up, uh, saved up on a on a fold, on a separate folder to to be commented and written down. I'm trying, I'm trying to find um um about the retrospect because there was a retrospective about it, and I think could help. They summarize things pretty well, some of the key beats and everything. So, yeah, that's something. More or less, this the the story that was told here in, in the Bureau for friend. That's something I could. That could probably be handled in the commentary uh, uh, between the commentary and the adaptation, the review part that's there. Right. Something that that after after this happened, a whole new different story story came out that I would I won't have time time to cover here, but it was found it, basically found it. the heart of it all. Yeah, I'll, I found it. It's the uh, Requiem and Rebirth um, special feature. Hmm. This one can help you give a summary of what to go over for the funeral. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, but um, but yeah, but overall though, but again, was this again the character beat? This, like I said, there's a reason why I say the death is the weakest of the trilogy. It's just well written slugfest, but 
nothing but salt pads. Yeah. This, on actually, the other now, hand, actually, now that I think about it, it would probably be easy to go over the story and uh, the the death part. Then in mm -hmm. the in, in the review section, uh, to, uh, talk about about how it how it's framing, pacing, and uh, artwork, and then call, then uh, talk about the uh, well this story story how, how it was got done and uh, something yeah, about I mean, about. Yeah. So I think the, the yeah, I think the animated movie, the New Fifty Two animated movie, it it it, it tried to uh, like put these kinds of uh, moments and these character setups in there before the death happened, to, in order to like show these supporting characters yes. before Superman died. Exactly, and I think Return to the Light you could just trim and summarize, just simply like. Steel dealt with this. Eradicator dealt with this. Superboy dealt with this. Yeah, that I get. <laughs> yeah, but how much does that? Have? Oh no, no. Yeah, again, because remember, basically, you can just summarize the first because the first couple of issues of Return just establish the characters. You don't need to cover all of those. You just need to cover from the moment the um, Cyborg Superman and Eradicator p fought each other, which led to Coast City. Uh. So that's the best part of that. You just. You just give a brief summary of like Steel Delt was trying to take his weapons off the street. Eradicator was just doing his, uh, his own thing. Cyborg. Okay, was those can be talk about when I get to the return uh, to the rain. The, the, it can be in the opening setup. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the, the story like, commentary can then start from the well, yeah, Eradicator yeah, versus Cyborg Superman. Yeah. Exactly. Because and you just yeah. have to summarize. You know, like again, Steel was dealing with the Toastmasters. Um, um, Cyborg Superman was still, it was more about people trying to accept that he was the real Superman. Superboy was just building up his own life. Um, and mm. Eradicator, I remember what Eradicator did. Oof. Part of Eradicator fell by the wayside, by more so. But then the real story then kicks in once Eradicator and Superboy uh, and, um, and Cyborg Superman fought each other because that led to Coast City and that's where everything just reconvenes. I mean, yeah, you have mm. a few moments like Cyborg Superman and, and Steel. Uh, that's not sorry, Eradicator and Steel fighting each other, but it's just a brief bit. Mm. But I like that how they have a few issues of just building up on the characters before they are thrown into the ringer. Mm. Yeah. But, but yeah, but for World Without, I will just focus on the first half. The second half, you could just summarize again. It's just simply the second half is Cadmus trying to take. Uh, to um Superman's body. Mm. Yeah, I'll try to get that into the uh, into the review half of the uh, between uh, between the story commentary and the adaptation talk. But eventually, when I get to it, mm. I'll try to get the Crisis on Infinite Earths video edited and out during next week. Then mm -hmm. also yeah, because I I also want to get the form for the man who has everything done before February twenty ninth. And right. then probably focus more on the, the death of any super uh, death. death yeah, and, and it is, again, this is going to be a monster for you to go over, of course. Yeah, I just put you must set up some. But to be, at the same time, though, I still say this the death is by far much more faithful than Rain was. Rain mm. was still way more faithful than Superman Doomsday was, but. Yeah, but it was all happening in Metropolis instead of Coast City, and, and in the new Mongo was replaced with Darkseid, and the power dynamic between Cyborg Superman and Darkseid was uh, uh, Superman, Superman and Mongo was flipped when Darkseid was put in there. Obviously. Yeah, and uh, obviously. But but the Hall, was, Hall, Hall, the go, well, since they met without Metropolis getting uh, didn't didn't share. Ghost City's fate, and without Ghost City, we never got to uh, Emerald Twilight. Super and, Boy, and Superboy was also more the super, in the Supergirl role. Mm, pretty much you that know, too. Not to mention Batman life. should have been Nightfall by then. By then, yeah, but oh boy, when I went over that Superman Legacy story with Jared, which will premiere next week, <laughs> there's a point where they were saying like events were happening literally parallel to each other, and it's like, this makes no sense! Yeah, like, it, it wasn't parallel. Like it was, like right after each other. No, I like, know, I know. I'm saying no, but in that DC Universe legacy, it was claiming stuff like the entirety of Nightfall happened as Doomsday was attacking. 
Yeah, they probably want to do about a compressive or similar. But well, even Legacy wasn't, wasn't canon. Legacy was never yeah. canon. Yeah, it wasn't. But it's also in Nightfall when Bane broke everyone out of Arkham and Batman was uh, just responding yep. to it. He had an armband on him on, on himself of the Superman. Yep, I think so. And I also remember, um, but yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. But again, overall, this story, like I said, this this is what got me into comics. This is why yeah. this is why Superman's my favorite. Yeah. Why will it's also Superman because the, this level kind of kind of level of, level of writing is not done into these days anymore. No, it's it's not. Just one character do whatever you want, and the editors are just mm, yeah, fine. Yeah. I, I still say mm. DC's better at it than Marvel, though. Mm. But yeah. again, I know I keep bringing it up, but I can't help it. This is why whenever I hear people say how Lois has been written like a bitch, I keep on saying, where? Show me! It's kind of writing like this. In the beginning, more or less, when they get into John Burns, but, 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 she, was, but she warmed up from there. Exactly, and especially once Burn left, which remember Burn was only on for a year. That's just one mm. year of her being of a bitch. And even then, you had Jerry Ordway and Marv Wolfman, and then later just Jerry Ordway, keeping her more, like you said, warmed up. Mm. They saw the Ice Queen. Yeah, or retconned her, her character as a to a You're using the wrong word, dude. It's just simply they yeah, progressed I, okay, his. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm not, okay, my... yeah, retcon, retcon is where you retroactively change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retroactively change it or reframe it into 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 the, the behavior being up. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just I just had to I can't help but yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, help yeah, correct. yeah. I should know but know, know these terms better when I I <laughs> I, I, I pretty much also call exactly. call out, out. But um but like I said, and then for the majority of post crisis, this is the lowest we've been getting. Mm. I cannot usually think of many writers who wrote a bitchy Lois like this, who was bitchy for the sake of it. If anytime when she was written bitchy, it was because editorial had to call, like the bit where that she and um, Clark had to go on hiatus. That was by far the closest, but out, but they even came good. They always made sure they had good in story reasons for her to explain away her actions. Not, mm. oh, she just became a bitch, she had to become a bitch. Mm. Again, it wasn't until New 52 where once they restarted it all, that it felt like they didn't even care about Lois then. Mm. Let's be honest. How often did we ever see Lois in a main role in New 52 besides Morrison stuff? Mm, yeah, not much. And even that exactly. didn't lead to anywhere. So you even can't yeah, say that this... Lois was a bitch because she was hardly even written. Mm. So whenever I hear people bring that up, it's always, I always say, show me. Show me where she was poorly written. Show me where she was mishandled. And I don't usually get it. I'm always told they're out there, but it's like, and I gotta say, Jared does that a lot. It's like I tell him, show me. He just says they're out there. It's like, yeah, where? yeah. Jared is pretty much going through the looking at Lois with the run the Death Eater goggles. Exactly. And again, no offense to him. I get it. I get why he likes that. But at the same time. This is writing like this is why I think he sometimes gets the backlash he gets when he makes those statements about Lois. It's because there are people who grew up with this Lois who are like, fuck you. Now, again, they go overboard. Like how people reacted with the Crisis movie. Oh, Lord. Hearing about how people were saying, oh, like, what, why are they doing this with Earth 2, Earth 2 Wonder Woman and Superman? It's like, they just said in the movie, Lois is dead of old age. Maybe they had a good time together, and then he's moved on to Wonder Woman. That's fine. Anyone who's mm. going to complain about that are stick in the muds. Yeah. You just kind of but, funny how also uh, the animation in that movie also was kind of weird at the looking because they could have given the Earth to Superman the graying hairs that, that, that he also had. And, and the differences between his and the Earth 1 Superman shields were almost non existent. Exactly. I always like how and, in post crisis you can yeah, tell yeah. because but honestly, there was that one frame where I think the the, the animator the maders forgot to even put the S shield on the Superman. It was a close up of his face like this, but but it, but it was but, but a lower frame was still low enough to show that no S shield here. Exactly. But but again, overall, like I said, this is I'm 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 repeating myself, but I just want to say it one last time. This defined everything of how I look at comics and Superman. Mm. 
and he wasn't even there for it. Hmm. What does that say, right? He wasn't yeah. even there for it, but this set my standard for everything. Yeah. I and this is why I will always defend Superman over Batman. Always, hmm. because of this. As much as I like Nightfall, because Nightfall is one of my first Batman stories. But unlike that, we never got a world reacting to a world without a time a city time without Batman. Yeah, it was all with just, just as well like, as Batman. Yeah, it led up to the breaking. The breaking happened, and immediately we have to replace him. Hmm. He didn't have any moment, which is fine. It's completely different stories. Hmm. But it didn't establish that much because the whole point of Nightfall was to try and build up the Asbat. It was a night quest that would mm. set up the why he wasn't good as Batman, which they never mm. collected until the omnibuses. Yeah, it's hard to pick those up also. Heck, they even called Night's End in the trade. They called it Night Quest. Mm. In the old yeah, trade. Fall Quest End. Yeah, you have Fall Quest and End. Yeah. Mm. But, um, but like I said, this is just so good. But oh boy, us going over the return is gonna be a beast. Yeah, it's gonna be a huge. Yeah. I'm gonna spend most of the next week editing a crisis video. And yep. if I get yeah, if, well, if the move eventually take time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the move happens when it's supposed to happen, then I should not the next week, but the second week after that, be at my new place, have everything yep. set up, and we'll, we'll see how. How I, oh, how this I'm video should three. premiere in um, two weeks. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, though, thank you very much for coming on, Pika, and thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. And I'll be watching this from my new place, hopefully. Don't you have one other sign off? Your, yeah. <laughs> and may your heart be your guiding key. <laughs>